Months have passed since Boko Haram kidnapped hundreds of schoolgirls from Chibok in the northeast. So far, the only proof that they are still alive has come from this video. It was released by the militant group last month, but reports indicate President Goodlock Jonathan has since seen another video purportedly showing some of the girls in a terrible state and pleading to be released. The existence of that video cannot be independently verified, though. Boko Haram's leader, Abubakar Shekau, wants his fighters released from prison in exchange for the girls. The president has so far refused such a deal. A conflict resolution analyst explains why, according to him, the president might be right. The questions Nigeria should be asking is this. Simply put, does it make sense to negotiate with terrorists, especially extremists who use the cover of religion? Is their word reliable? Do they ever honor their word in any way? Certainly a question worth considering. More disturbingly, accounts from some of the girls who escaped a heroin. The girls that I spoke to, I spoke to the uncle, spoke to the parents. One of the girls, for instance, when she was in that horrible forest, was being assaulted by different men, up to 15 men, sexually abused on a daily basis. According to Thompson, government isn't the only one who wants to end this situation as soon as possible. He believes Boko Haram's leader may have gotten more than he'd bargained for. The girls are a burden to him. He cannot further molest them. He cannot do anything. He himself would rather return those girls right now. But he cannot do it without saving his face somewhat. Thompson assures the current situation means the girls will be back and that he can't hurt them since it would reflect badly on Islam. The parents certainly hope this is the case. But to quote Thompson, is Boko Haram capable of honoring their word? That's the big question. Deji Badnos, CCTV, Lagos, Nigeria.